Hello and welcome to this science vision video. Now in this video we're asking the question what is the difference between speed and velocity? Let's start first of all thinking about speed. Now you need to know this equation okay speed is average speed is given by distance moved divided by time taken okay very simple distance moved over time taken. Let's think about the units involved here so distance is normally measured in meters Time is normally measured in seconds, and combining those, we get a speed of meters per second, written as m over s. Now you may see this in certain textbooks written as m s to minus one, but it means the same thing. Okay, let's look at an example. I can't draw cars, so I'm not going to try to put the word down car. Can't draw it. Now suppose um, the distance it travels, suppose it travels, okay, 50 meters. And suppose the time taken to do this is in fact two seconds. So speed of this car, and I'm sure you've done it yourself already, equals distance 50 over 2, which equals 25 meters per second. Okay? It's exactly as simple as that. Now, if that is speed, what's the difference between that and this term here called velocity? Well, very key important point is that speed okay in a given direction is called velocity so velocity here is the speed in a given direction now we've got a very smart um, speed but i like to think that's me but it's not actually there we are now we can say quite simply here that this speedboat here the velocity is the speed which is 25 meters a second what direction well in this case here it's going due west remember your um Compass bearings, it looks like this, doesn't it really? Okay, now that was north, south, west, east. So this diagram here is traveling in this direction here, so it's going west. Okay, so velocity is 25 meters a second due west. That's the key important thing there. Let's think about this cyclist. Now, this cyclist here, this cyclist, okay, now he is going in direction. Let's say he's going to the right. We say we can say he's going plus 10 meters per second to the right. Now we could also say he's going minus 10 meters a second to the left. That would mean he's moving away from the left towards the right. Okay, So two ways of writing this, we could say he's going at plus 10 meters a second to the right, or we could say he's going minus 10 meters a second to the left. And that is an example there of velocity. Okay, That's velocity because we've got both speed and direction. Let's just summarize. So hopefully you now know these. Speed is given by distance divided by time. Tick. Speed is measured in meters per second. We know that. Tick. Velocity is speed in a given direction, e.g. 10 meters a second due east. Tick. Now this is a new one here. Velocity is what we call a vector quantity. Now a vector quantity has two things. It has both size, i.e. the speed, and direction, i.e. due east, due west, right, left, whatever. Okay, so I'll get that one now. Good. And tick all the boxes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And goodbye for now.